Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Transport Fever 2 Strategy and Tactics, Episode 8. Yeah, let's go with 8. So, in our last episode, our little uh, experiment with Boydberg uh, seems to be working out fairly well at the moment. Hang on, Lone Repay. Um, so yeah, this tiny little town with uh, good foot traffic somehow managed to generate 43 of 48 people to send on um, the Shona Steam Wheeler on the way back. So Boydberg's got some uh, got some bustle. Uh, and as you can see, our little gambit paid off here. By us drawing this road here, we invited them to hook up uh, and do some smushing themselves. You can see all the passengers um, just walking from our station into town. Um, so yeah, that seems to be working nicely. Uh, but we're not done here yet. We are not done by a long shot. Uh, we've got one more, well, one more city on this line to hook up, but we've also got some new tech to play with. Yes, at the very end of uh, the train ride of the last episode, uh, for those of you who uh, stuck around, you, uh, you were able to see it, but for you, the rest of you, this is a surprise. Yes, we got some new tech, and this time, unlike that damn boat that showed up, um, this tech is actually really good, because it is the Stadtbahn Hall. I, 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 please correct me if I'm uh, uh, pronouncing this incorrectly. So, the Stadtbahn Hall is essentially like the Dampfram. It's got 11 people. It can go 27 kilometers an hour, so one kilometer an hour um, faster. Uh, but emissions rating 69. Compared that to the uh, to the horse-drawn streetcar of 66, yeah, it's a couple of points higher. I can tolerate that. I can tolerate that. Now, the catch, we got to electrify the uh, our lines in order to utilize this thing. But that thing, I mean, our, our trams are so central to our, our um, strategy anyway that we might as well. Uh, but before we go back uh, uh, and uh, uh, upgrading across the board, um, I figure let's uh, let's let's get our last leg of this uh, extension out uh, out there and then we can revisit all the other towns and get them upgraded. So, Nolchester, it is time we hook you up. Now, Nolchester, I am not going to be giving the Boydberg treatment. They are going to get a proper train station and tram station and multi-stops. And, well, the way they're laid out... Um, let's take a look at the, at the zones. Yeah, we got all the residentials here. So, they're nicely grouped, but they are a bit scattered. Um, it's sort of like a tricordate type, type deal here. Um, hmm. yes. All right, so let's 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 ponder. Uh, let's let's ponder. I like to use the bus tram station as sort of an anchor here. Uh, what's the base pop? You know what? I'm just going to do. Um, I'm going to do 20 minute, 20 meter length, just because, just because it it seems like a better idea. Now, as far as where we're going to go with this thing, um, this seems like a more sensible idea. If we can squeeze you in here without smushing, because I, I, uh, I don't want to spend too much money smushing, um, then that would be ideal. And this may require a little of the fine-tuning keys. I think we can, yeah. That's not bad at all, actually. We get the nice corner piece and the corner hookups here. And, uh, yeah, no smushing required. Now, this is going to require... Hmm. See, we're missing a couple of... We're missing a couple of these over here. I almost want to put you here, but then that kind of misses out. You know, the other... The other, um, the other thought I would have is if we put it here and have, like, a back entrance to it. Because these guys are kind of obnoxiously far away. But I... Putting it any deeper would um, would put us in danger of, uh, of uh, getting the industrial the residential zones bothered. 
Now, another potential um, thing, and this might be kind of a weird placement, but it would actually kind of work, possibly, is if we put you, like, right here, we would smush one little building, which I, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Um, yeah, one, one little building smushed would give us total coverage of this sector. Um, but we're not, it still doesn't reach. This is an obnoxiously shaped city. This is absolutely an obnoxiously shaped city. Um, now, if we put here and go for a double smush, we could do a double smush um, for in exchange for being able to get this little area out here. I'd want to clip these two things to discourage growth in that direction. But that might be the smarter thing to do, because I don't want to do a third tram stop. Alright, fine. We're gonna do we're gonna go for the double smush. Oh yeah, tram track electric. Cause we are going to uh, we're gonna make this modern right from the get-go. Alright, now um now, for the train station itself that we're going to be plugging into here, I think the natural uh, uh, place for that, and we should be able to get this without smushing, is like right here. Because yeah, that's right across the street from our, our thing. Uh, doesn't require any smushing, but still keeps it in the, in the, uh, in the midst. Another alternative? No, because we, we need that to plug into our, our station here. I mean, guess <clears throat> that would be... Nah, this one's better. This one's nice and neat and no smushing required. Beautiful. But before we worry about that, let's worry about our trams, our new shiny trams. Uh, so let's go back to our roads. Now, as far as uh, buildings go, so this covers right here. We don't need one to out here. We do need one back here. I think one to right here would be smart. Um, and then maybe one out to here would be, would be also intelligent. Um, so yeah, that should work out nicely. Let's get our streets upgrade and Catanery, or Catanery, is basically the game's way of uh, saying, do you want to electrify this? Heck yeah! Now it takes a little bit more to build with uh, with the electri electricity in mind, but ultimately not really that bad. All said and done. And if it gives us access to those uh, better trams, then sign me up. Yeah, that should be good. All right, one here. Chester local Re oops res Yeah, see this is why I didn't extend the track extend the track all the way out. Local com. And we have our station parked right in the industrial, so that works out nicely. Uh, now, where are we going to stick a tram depot uh, without causing any problems? Uh, I mean, I guess we could extend the tram lines like a little bit further down. I mean, one thing I could do is, uh, no, not the train depot, the tram depot is put it down here and let the trams because eventually this area might grow or it might not grow this might actually discourage them from growing uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna test my theory on that um, and then we're going to clip these two roads doesn't cost us much because there's no houses on there and maybe we can just you know discourage them from from doing much of anything here. i don't want to do that because that'll that will cost us, and that will be needlessly expensive. Um, right then, so we'll uh, get a couple of our stuff on the halls. I am going to still keep them on uh, the high maintenance. Yeah, 
let's see, Nolchester Local Com, and then Nolchester Local Res. Off you two go. Beautiful. Okay, now let's get our roots hooked up here, our final root up here. So we're going to, well, let's grab some more loanage here. We've got $3 million to play with. I think that'll be good enough for a... Uh, um, a new, uh, a, a full route and a new train. All right, so we are going tracks, and thankfully we don't have to smush anything on our way out of town here. Uh, let's turn on our uh, country because we got this nasty, nasty mountain up here. So we're gonna want to dodge that. There's going to be a little bo bobbing and weaving here. This actually, this this coasting along the side here isn't actually that bad for us. Um, and as one of my commenters pointed out, as train speeds go up, you're going to want to be more mindful of how sharp of a, sharp of a turn that you take. Because even though, you know, none of our, none of our engines can go anywhere near 120 kilometers per hour, that's going to be a thing in the future, and we're going to be wanting to upgrade our engines. And that's a, that's an unmarked hill. That's a speed bump right there. And as long as we can take it with the terrain, then I'm okay. Got some nice uh, little sand pits here. What is this, Sim Golf? I think not. Yeah, see, gotta draw carefully in, in here, lest we, uh, lest we go diving into a Sarlacc pit. All right, let's plan our move. We are gonna want to swing wide around the farm, um, clearing out farm fields, just as expensive as smushing buildings, uh, but they're much larger and more widespread. So we're just gonna swing wide. Not to mention we got this nasty little mountain ridge here, so we might as well swing. Take you know, we might as well take the swing anyway. It's not very uh, not a very crowish uh, route, but. Um, it should be fine for what it is. Probably not my most profitable, but at the at the moment we have enough of a of a profit. This is oddly expensive for just that amount of length. Thank you, game. Um, it's we've got enough profit base in our in our uh, uh, rail empire here to be able to. Yeah, have a route that may not be the most profitable. I, I refuse to make a route that is going to be explicitly a money pick, but and I do think this will make us some cash. We do have a we do have a guardian uh, route here. We're gonna have to just plow through that. No getting around that, but, but that's fine. All right, there we go. That's not bad, and we uh, we got that uh, pretty uh, pretty well budgeted. Got you to you. And this is going to be. Um, Nolchester to Berg. Now, as far as how we're going to service this route, hmm, what I think I might do. What I think I might do, actually, is I think I might, uh, with the Shona Steam Whaler, I still want the Shona Steam Whaler doing the sort of the back and forth thing, but this time I'm going to have her do bounce between Nolchester, Boydberg, and JC City. Um, so I'm actually going to expand that route that I just made. And likewise, we're going to make a, uh, a new route with a new play, a new train just for JC City and Melanopolis, because I think, I think it's got the numbers going for us now. Um, so let's make the route. I don't want to, I don't want to like lose all the passengers that are already waiting for that. Oops, what, Pinstar, what the heck are you doing? All right, there we go. Melanopolis to JC City. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to spawn a new engine here 
and then I'm going to retract the other route. That way we don't lose all the people. Um, I am, I'm going to go with the boar sink. It's a nice, it's a nice, um, uh, train to have, uh, for, for not a huge amount of volume. I, and I think we're going to go with our standard, um, uh, 48 capacity to start with, and then we'll build from there. And it's, I mean, we can afford it. All right, let's see here. I'll come up with a clever name for another one of my name and game patrons for this train. Uh, so yeah, Melanopolis to JC City. There you go. Uh, which will then allow us to go and um, take our, our long, this one, we can clip the Melanopolis out of it. Um, So yeah, we don't want to. We don't want to. Um, so they're on this leg of the journey. So we can clip out this instance and this instance. So it's Boydburg to JC City, add station, back to Boydburg, and then back, and then over to Nolchester. Which means we can then that'll actually give Nolchester some time to develop some passengers by the time it gets there because it's already on the downswing here. Um, so that's actually perfect timing and whatnot. Um, and then no, uh, no Chester to Boydburg. We don't need a dedicated line yet. So we'll take that just so it doesn't split the passenger load. And we can pay back some of our load. And now for the first time in this episode, we can actually unpause. So these little, uh, these little beauties, again, I can hold just as much of the damp trams, um, but can can and go a little bit faster, but otherwise just do so much better. Actually, there you know what I lied. There's going to be one one upgrade I'm going to do before I do my mass upgrade, and that's going to be to Melanopolis because we got to get this mon modernized and we got to get that damp tram out of there. Uh, so I am going to modernize Melanopolis here um, with uh, electricity. So you, you do the route to your station and that electrifies the station. And because there are 69, I'm willing to put these trams on the residential lines too. So we're going to be upgrading everything in Melanopolis here. Uh, let's pull up our... Um, the Melanopolis residential local. So each damp there, each um, each each trolley can take the place of two of these. So we are going to uh, convert trams three and six. We're going to replace you with the stop on Haas. What you talking about, Willis? Did I not uh, electrify everything? Tannery. Oh, no, I did not electrify everything. Probably have to electrify our way over to there in case we have to never need to buy more of them. Don't need to electrify these old things. Um, right then, so let's let's try that again. We will manage you and upgrade you to the stop on the hull. And then these two get out of here. Um, and then our noisy McNoisyson, the uh, Dampfram here, you, my friend, are getting replaced with the stop on the hull. And that should be be all she wrote, really, um, for Melinopolis anyway. That should reduce the noise. And now we don't have a, um, any uh, anything that's slowing these guys down. All right, now let's go back to our... our uh, uh, no, that's the St. Michael. That's the wrong corner of the map. That's Mimicon. That's also the wrong corner of the map. Here we go. Nolchester. All right, we got our first uh, first peoples uh, up and running here. Nobody. Oh, I never renamed that. 
I do need to rename that, but at, the, at least it's uh, they're they're working on their way there. Let's just see how how we're doing here. All right, yeah, now that's bothering me. At least the tra the other passengers transferred over. Um, so this is the wrong name now. So this is. Um, City to Boyd to Boydburg to to Milchester. A little bit long for the display, but I'll take it. We lost a few of the passengers because they were probably ones that wanted to go down to Melanopolis. Although they should have just gotten off at the station. We've got the transfer uh, pits here. All right, only 18 coming back, but we did just do a lot of route disruption here. And we got a decent, uh, different, decent travel uh, group going here for you. Um, I forgot to check to see if... Yeah, all right, so yeah, there you go. 21, not, again, it takes some time to develop. But uh, yeah, this is certainly a, uh, a busy station to say the least. Oop, and well, I almost caught that. Oh, and now it's back again. We have enough trains that are, that are coming, are rolling in with uh, half a million dollar payloads that we can, we can, we can get some loan pays pretty rapidly here. All right, let's speed things up. And you ignored my thing. Are you developing outside the range? No, you're not. Okay, good. And I'm okay with you going that direction. In fact, I wouldn't mind you two hooking up. Now we got, we got some development here in this station as people await and again, once the, once the numbers uh, dictate it, I will I will make these this this back and forth uh, line its own two separate trains. But for now, we we the economies of scale are not on our side. Yeah, nobody wants to go to Nolchester. Um, everyone just wants to go to JC City. Something must be hap hap happening there. But we gotta we gotta serve the people. So we gotta hook them up. Um, catch the loan repay. There we go. So how uh, Boydberg's looking good? Um, uh, Seven forty-eight destinations now. Nolchester. Understandable that this is gonna have the fewest destinations of everybody in our network because honestly, I it, they have to travel this far just to get to the rest of the network. And this is already kind of pushing it. Like I could see them making their way to JC City, no problem. But making their way to say, I don't know, Mount Aurelius, I doubt that. Uh, but they are, for the purposes of my challenge, considered hooked up. Um, the, we are officially servicing them. All right. Now, um, while we wait for this route to develop, um, let's uh, let's go um, and upgrade the rest of our peeps here. Um, moving over to New Jet Stream City, our other major hub. They certainly, I mean, look at the passenger numbers here. They certainly could make use of uh, uh, of some upgrades here. And I had a thought, an insidious thought. What would this cost? That wouldn't cost much at all. How about that? That would cost a lot more. Never mind. I was thinking of widening this and then having the street come out the back of it, but that would require too much smushing. So we'll 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 leave it as is, and we'll just do some upgrades here uh, once I get some phones back. Oops. Other direction, game. I know, I seem like a cat, you know, in, out, in, out, up, down, out, down, paid, taken, paid, taken, make up your mind. Um, right then, so, electrify, ele oh, did I already electrify that, that line up there? Well, handy that. Um, now, this also is a good time to make the determination of, do I need to move any of my stops? 
the answer for that if I move you over one one block we're gonna catch those but we lose out on those and this one doesn't catch those so this needs to be right where it is and if we we loop the loop here then that's just exposing even more people to the noise so you know what? we're gonna we're gonna keep it as is um, but we are going to go higher tech here okay tannery yes good excellent all right now let's get some let's see here Ch -ch new jet stream local com you know what the local comms I'm actually going to leave them as the Domptrons. They they were successful in that role, and they're literally on the route that doesn't care about noise, so I'm not going to bother with the expense of replacing them. They're, they're just as good. The new uh, residential, however, yeah, I think there's a lot of people going here. I, uh, I might not trash all of these. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to trash you. And then we're going to upgrade three of them. So we are actually going to be effectively increasing our capacity. Boop. Um, and then for you, yeah, you, um, you're, you're going to get upgraded because you do touch the residentials. And I don't need you uh, adding extra noise pollution to the mix. All right, so that's that. I see a lot of the, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of these people are probably wanting to uh, go to some of the new destinations around the city. All right, so we got that. We got that. JC City. Let's uh, let's get our third hub city upgraded here. Um, you're covering everything except for one. Would it be advantageous to move you? We go here. Um... Yes, it actually would be advantageous to move you. Okay, I'll take it. Always, uh, always uh, willing to uh, go to new places here. We still want to electrify this uh, track in this direction so that we can get to our uh, our uh, thingy here. Now let's do the smush and turn around. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll replace it before the ghost uh, is given up. Yeah, we'll probably want to swing high on this one. There we go. Beautiful. Now an even shorter trip. Um, and now all we need to do here is just um, JC City Local, two trams down to one. You get the F out of here, and you get upgraded. Beautiful. All right, Boydberg, obviously none of that. Let's uh, let's let's uh, upgrade Saint Michael. And actually, you know what? I'll give you a little upgrade montage here as I go through and pick through uh, each of my uh, cities here to upgrade them. Okay, this brings us to our last thing here, and it looks like Mount Morelius grew a nice strategic new road that we can make use of. I think we should. Um, so I think we're gonna uh, do a do a little smush here. Get our upgrade on. This one needs. Uh, Speaking of getting smush on, this little right here is slowing us down, and we have money. So, you know what? Guess what? You're, you you got to get out of the way here, buddy. This whole, this whole thing is kind of awkward. 
And you know we'll do a um, we'll do a medium street here. We're gonna go straight down. Well, actually, maybe not straight down. Go go up here. Give you some room to grow. That's a little bit better. All right, let's go back um, and keep upgrading. Yeah, because we get down here, we get all these buildings down here, um, and a lot more efficiently. That's better. All right, you... Um, since we only have one vehicle on each, we might as well just uh, replace them. I'm not gonna... Electric path, what am I missing? Oh, we have to upgrade you. Ha. Huh. Well, you know what, Tram 14? Alright, fine. We'll build you... We'll build you... Um... Actually, you know what? Here. Why don't you just come off of there and then I can upgrade you. Just come off of the electric rather than having to build whole new electric stuff. There we go. Oh, and I need to upgrade this little boop. Am I missing something? Yeah. I think it I think these are considered electrical. I just undid them by mistake. All right. So, uh, let's replace you. Stop on hall. Let's replace you. Stop on hall. Beautiful. Much better. All right. Probably they're they're probably going to be overserved for a little bit, but um, hey, they'll be growing. All right, my friends. I think that is everything we need. Um, so, um, yeah, Nolchester seems to be good. Oh my God! Look at that. Forty-eight of forty-eight. It has done. Nolchester has gotten its act together. The people have gotten to there, and they have filled the train. Which will then come down here to, to here, which will also fill the train. Um, and then back up here, um, yeah, not quite full, and certainly not full there, but well, there, things need to be seen. All right, well, in that case, let's, um, let's take a ride on the Shona Steamliner on the new route here. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, Go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya! forgot signals we forgot signals here I thought we were gonna have a nice leisurely train ride but no we forgot signals now that we've changed the paradigm here please continue forth and thank you for reminding us uh, Shona that we do need those ste those signals
Hey, 48 to 48 on the backswing. All right. Um, we may need to grow the train or get another one. All right. Looks good to me, folks. <laughs>